Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be reviewing and comparing this flashlight right here. This right here is the Thrunite Catapult V6. Oh, got to get a little bit of a focus on that. But as you can see, it is, you know, it's a beefy flashlight, but it is, for how bright it is, I would say it's a fairly compact size. Now, Thrunite was kind enough to send this out to me, but they did not pay me to tell you that this is the best flashlight mankind has ever seen. So I'll be honest with you, there's something I really don't like, I'm gonna let you know about it. So if you hold the button down, it goes to the dimmest mode. As you can see, fairly dim, but it does reach a good distance. Hold it down, goes to medium, and then to high. This is really bright. Now I would, I'm not sure how far away that is, those are about 100 to 200 feet away, so I would say they're a good distance. Like, it would be tricky to throw a rock that far. But, one more mode is if you turn the flashlight, press it twice really quickly, we'll turn it off and then turn it back on twice really quickly, it goes into strobe. Now, this is really irritating to look at, but if you did need to signal someone from a distance, this would definitely do the job. It is very flash. Also, if you wanted to throw a party, thumbs up would also work for that. To give you a point of reference, this right here is a phone's light, and the reason I'm showing you this is because most people have a phone with a flashlight, which they use often, and this is how bright it is. It lights up the grass, good for most little tasks. When I turn this light on, you can see that there is a pretty good um, difference, and the reason I'm comparing it to a phone, which is obviously going to be much dimmer, so you can see like a comparison of a, a flashlight that you probably use. This right here is the catapult v6 this right here is another through night the 1a v3 and this right here is a lead lenser f1r now this flashlight was a gift from the awesome class zoom thank you very much and this right here is i looked it up and it's about a hundred and forty dollar flashlight this is a very bright light for the size check this out i'll turn it on and as you can see compared to the catapult it's much much more of a wider light but, you gotta keep in mind, this flashlight is double the price of this one. Of course, it's a little bit smaller, but it's double the price. With this, you have to take the battery out to recharge it. With this one, you can actually just use a micro USB, which I will definitely be mentioning in things that I like about this light. Comparison to the, let me turn this light off, this right here is the 1A V3, and you know, it's a much smaller light, only, and it's about $30, so a good amount cheaper. Much more compact, but of, as you can see, not as bright as expected. All right, let's just go walking around so you can see what it'd be like using this light in um, the real world. So I wouldn't say this light is necessarily the best for every... Oh, those are some, those are some really loud frogs. This isn't the best light for every application. If you need to work on stuff up close, you know, you could turn, make it pretty dim, and it would definitely work for that, but it's more of a spotlight. That's kind of the specialty of this light, is that it is designed to reach very far. As the name suggests, it's a catapult. So, this flashlight, what I'll be using it for, is maybe at nighttime, spotting animals up in trees, or if um, out exploring and I want to see what's that noise, what's creating that weird noise way over there, I'll probably use this light. The obvious downsides are of course that it is fairly heavy and this isn't the best for indoors or working or like shining at stuff that's really up close because since it's a spotlight, the center is extremely bright. So if you have it on the highest mode indoors, it's pretty much impossible to look at. Whereas other flashlights that are a bit more dim, you can do that. Something that I was reading about the other day that's pretty interesting about a, f a really bright flashlight includes something like this, or any other flashlight that's really bright, especially like a spotlight, is that not only can they be used, you know, not only can I use this to look around, um, find stuff in the dark and what a flashlight is designed for, but it's also kind of like a weapon. So you wouldn't necessarily just think of this, but if you shine this light at someone's face, at someone's eyes, obviously maybe someone that has bad intentions or something, obviously you don't do this to your friends or family or someone just messing around, but if someone was coming after you, if you shine this in their eyes, in their face, it will blind them, no doubt, 
and for at least a, a few moments they're not going to be able to see they're not going to be able to come right after you if, if i was shining this at someone's face they would not be able to see they tried to look at me to come after me this is a form of a weapon so i just thought i'd mention that it's an interesting thing that i never um in the past had thought about about flashlights i've just plugged the flashlight in to this power bank and let me turn the light off and as you can see it is recharging but I can actually use the flashlight while it is recharging. Now there's a catch. You can't use it on the brightest mode, but still, I could essentially use this flashlight indefinitely for hours and hours while it's recharging to a power bank or whatever it may be. If you are wondering how many lumens this light is, it is 1,700, so 1,700. And there's other flashlights that are have maybe have more or less lumens, but something that you should know is that just the number of lumens that a flashlight has doesn't determine how bright it is. Because you could have a really good thing that reflects the light from the little bulb or the little LED inside. So if it's a really good, if it can reflect very well, it can actually appear to be brighter than a flashlight with more lumens. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not just lumens, lumens, lumens. All right, let's head back over here and I'll talk about what things, the pros and cons of this flashlight. Just go right through here. And rechargeable via micro USB. That is just, I wish more flashlights did this. I know there are other ones, but I've seen a few flashlights that don't have this feature and this is just so nice because I don't have to worry about a charger or replacing the batteries. By the way, I will unscrew this flashlight so you can see what battery it is. It is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. But you basically never have to take the battery out. You can just recharge it with, with a little cord. That is a great feature. Good job. I do like that it's waterproof. Even though it's only for two meters, that's still a good amount. Something I want to just be able to just continue on lighting the way the right ahead and continue on not worrying about my flashlight light stop working because it's um, getting sprinkled on. The size is a pro and a con because in the past um, to get something this bright you had to have a much bigger flashlight. So in a sense this is much smaller but it would be really nice if they could make it a teeny bit more compact or you know if you look at the flashlight the shape of it you'll see that the where the where the light with the bulb and the front of the flashlight is much it's much wider than the grip and you know this is you know this makes sense but it makes it so that this flashlight doesn't like just slide into a backpack or into your pocket super easily but still still very small for how bright it is. Now, what cons could I think of? There aren't too many, but something that would be nice is if there was something to stop it from rolling around. If you, because if you place this on a table, it just continues on rolling. There's no real, like, if they would have shaped one of the ends, like kind of like a hexagon or something. So when you place it down, it doesn't roll away. Now I get that you could just stand it up like that, but if I, if I place this on a table, just like, just roll it there, I don't want it to go whoop and roll off the side of the table and go whoosh. This flashlight currently runs for about $75 on the official Thrunite website, and this is the Thrunite Catapult V6, by the way. Now, if you use the coupon code 20%, then you'll get 20% off, not only if you were to buy this flashlight, but also if you buy a different one from their official website you can use that coupon code to get a discount. Maybe you'll do like a dedicated full-blown nighttime exploration, like exploring through a new spot or somewhere, but using this flashlight, maybe other ones, and you can kind of see what it's like using it, but that'll be in another video. Today's positive quote is, there are two ways to spread light. There is, you can either be the candle, which creates the light, or the mirror, which reflects it. You could be maybe passing on the message which you once heard from someone else, passing that on. So maybe it wasn't something that you originally came up with, but maybe you're able to pass it on to more people than the person that you heard it from. That's it for this video. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.